I hope he don't turn the mower on right now. There you go. I got it. Show me how. Go ahead. Show me how. I told you, show me how. He's going to show you. Yeah, we'll, we'll go over before I get. I don't want to get run over. Go get on it, Larry. Oh, that's no fun. <laughs> I want you to do it well, first. Thing, I'll be doing it. Go ahead and show one. me first. I don't know. I don't really. <laughs> you I'm want me sure to I... fix you? Look. Yes, all sir? you do. You... Yes. You Once you start it, you start pushing levers. Half throttle, <laughs> got you, right? Uh -huh. Click, click on the clutch at that point. Okay. Then bring it to full throttle. Release the brakes. Pull your handles in. Got you. Push forward. Just like driving a dozer. I know that. I understand how to do that. Where's your in, Where's your uh, your power takeoff at? Right here. Oh, that is it. Okay. The electric. That handle over there to right drops the mower. Yep. This drops the mower, and man, before you, I couldn't even move it. But I took it all apart and fixed it. Now I got it already set at three and a half up. Oh, I got it set on three. And then, uh, so that's that's that. Oh, okay. So now, whoever's whoever's taking care of this, whoever's house is it staying at, has got to take care of the greasing part because Dave's got. Let's see, you got one, two. Show three, me the greasing four, spots. Five, six. Six, seven, eight. Where'd nine, you point out over 10, here? 11, twelve. You got twelve greasers. Okay, let's see where they're at. Where? Oh, I You're see on, it right some there. Some on them pivot joints. <laughs> you got one on here. I oh, got. You don't grease the spindles. They're but high speed. Okay. It's just stupid blue glue stuff in it. So you got every pivot point. One, two. The brake. This handle's got one. The the stabilizers has two. Has one on top. One on the bottom. That way you get both sides of that shaft. Okay. You got, if you, to take, you get, to get the one here, you gotta take the wheel off. Oh, on wow. the brake, on the brake control. There's one there. And the same thing on the other side. These here take grease. Normally I have a grease circ. What I do at work, I take this out, put a grease circ in it, pump it full of grease, and then put them back on. Because most people get too close to stuff and they'll wet them off. Okay. So, Xmark said, just put them bolts in there them in there to keep them plugged off so you don't break them off all the time. And believe me, I had fix your time getting some of them out. You got a Zerk here. You got a Zerk here. You got one back here on this wheel and then you got two on this thing again. On the wheel? Like axle wheel? On the brake. On the brake control where the brake band controls. There's That's a where it changes right? oh, the direction. Okay. No, actually it's just for the brake. Oh, it is? This the brake? Yeah, because... A lot of people have these in garages, uh -huh. and the brakes will freeze up right there because nobody ever greases them. And I then they wonder why they can't move. The where, is the, where is the foot brake? There is the no foot brake. The drive's all here. hydraulic. That's, that's, your that's brake. just an emergency brake, basically, where you parking brake. You don't need a brake on hydraulics. Well, I, know, I understand. Back, I understand. I understand. Yeah, but if the motor, if the motor isn't that, then you just flip that up. If it tries to coast with the oh, right. hydraulics. Yeah, you should put that on. Okay. Now, if you're going, like, once you guys start going down over the hill with this thing, mm -hmm. the trick is this. Keep it in your mind. You got to stay five steps ahead. Just...